Yes. 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 Yes.
beta stands for beetroots. Dan stands for turnips. Dan stands for turnips. Rotten stands for radishes. Rotten stands for radishes. Sweet stands for sweet potatoes. Sweet stands for sweet potatoes. Carrot stands for carrots. Carrot stands for carrots. Are cassava better than rotten sweet carrots? 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 Then the, sec the other function of the roots, the other function of the roots is holds the plant firmly in the soil. Holds the plant firmly in the soil. Holds the plant firmly in the soil. Other function of the roots is that holds the plant in the soil. Holds the plant firmly in the soil. Holds the plant firmly in the soil. Holds the plant firmly. In the soil. Let us go to the function of the stems. Functions of the stems of a plant. One of the function of the stem of a plant is it transports or they transport water and mineral salts. Transports water and mineral salts. One of the other functions of the plant. And I don't know if Michelle, you have got me right. Michelle? Michelle. Michelle, are you getting me? Michelle? Are you getting me? Yes. Yeah, so we have said that the function of the, the other function of the roots is that uh, they absorb, I mean, they transport, they, the functions of the stem, I mean, they transport water and the mineral salts, they absorb water and mineral salts. They absorb water and mineral salts. Absorb water and mineral salts. I want my teachers to say out loud. Hi, Michelle. Who is Michelle? Hi, Pauline. <laughs> okay, Pauline Angela, hi. Edward, uh, Mr. Angela Fred, Bugoma High School. So we have to say to you, you know, that you can learn so much from them. Thank you. So let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. Now we, we have done that. Huh? We say they transport water and mineral salts. Therefore, they transport. That is the function of the roots. And now, once we give out that point, huh? once we give out that point, children, what you need to do is to give an experiment to to give an experiment to investigate to investigate how a plant. I mean, the, the stems of a of, of a plant transport water. Now we go again to the materials required. Materials required. One, we need a young plant. We need a young, we need a young plant. Two, we need colored water. We need colored water. Then we need a razor plate. So therefore, you put water. You put water in a glass, and then you put in the plant inside. Then wait for some time. In this experiment, children, which I expect you to draw, and each one of you will draw that experiment. I want to see. You are supposed to cut two parts of a plant. One, you cut the leaf. The other one, you cut the stem. In an event that you are given a question where they have only cut the stem, then that is absorption. But when you cut the stem and the leaf, the answer is always transport of water and mineral salt. In this case, you are going to see, in this case, you are going to see that um, the, 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 the colored part, the colored water will be seen as the two cut parts, one of the leaf and the other one at the stem. Therefore, the conclusion in that experiment is the conclusion in that experiment is that roots, I mean, uh, stems of a plant transport water and mineral salts. Transport water and mineral salts. Then we go to the second step. We go to the second step, children. In the second step, we go to in the second step, having done this area, we now move to the second step where we, we have talked about the transport of plants. Then we say that some plants store food. Some plants store food in the stems. Some plants store food in the stems. 
some plants store food in the stems. Plants that store food in the stems include plants that store food in the stems include rhizome, Irish potato, yams. By the way, in some books they are placing yams as a root for store. Yams store food in the stem. Yams. Combs, C O R M S, combs, ginger, ginger, ginger. Therefore, we can have this mnemonic, we can have this mnemonic, and the mnemonic we are going to have is summarized on the following. We say, Susan Irungu, rode your car gently. Susan Irungu, your car gently. Susan stands for sugarcane. Irungu stands for Irish potato. Ua stands for yams. Ka stands for combs. Gently stands for ginger. Rot your car gently. Susan Irungu wrote your car gently. Also, the stems of a plant holds the leaves in the position to sunlight. Holds the leaves in 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 position to sunlight. Now, children, once we have done that, we go to... Oh, the leaves. The leaves I'll give you as an experiment. The leaves have the following fu functions. Where transpiration takes place. Transpiration is a, a process by which plants lose water through the stoma or singular stomata. Singular stomata. Then there is photosynthesis. There is photosynthesis. I'm taking something you can summarize with a song on photosynthesis. By looking at the requirements, this is a song. Photosynthesis, photosynthesis. These are all for photosynthesis. They are the photosynthesis. Water, air, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. Water, air, carbon dioxide. That is how we can summarize by looking at photosynthesis and the requirements of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which plants manufacture or make their own food. Photo means light, synthesis means make. Therefore, photosynthesis is a process by which green plants manufacture or make their own food. In the presence of sunlight, in the presence of sunlight, chlorophyll and air, which is carbon dioxide. Air, which is carbon dioxide. Now, from this one's children, we have dealt with this area. We have handled this area. So, I want to take this opportunity to give you this question which I'm going to revise with you in the, uh, in the evening today. Write the following question. Set up an experiment to investigate the following. Set up an experiment to investigate the following. One. Set up an experiment to investigate the following. One. Photosynthesis. Two. One is photosynthesis. And then number two. Number two. Number two, number two is transpiration, photosynthesis, and number two, transpiration. Question number two, question number two. Give examples of green flowering plants. Give examples of green flowering plants. Give examples of green 
flowering plants. Give examples of green flowering plants. Number two. Give examples of green and flowering plants. 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 Number three, give examples of non-green plants. 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 Question number four. Question number four. Give examples of plants with fibrous roots. Give examples of plants with fibrous roots. Give examples of plants with fibrous roots. And two, examples of plants with tap roots. 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 By the way, that uh, that work should be done between uh, two to five, so that at least by six today we have an evening session with you to go back through the work that you have done. By around six in the evening we have a lesson. I'll have about one hour with you to go through the questions that I've given you. Meanwhile, as you are waiting, hold on, holding on. There is a Kiswahili lesson that is coming. There is a Kiswahili lesson on the way coming. So you are going to tune in in the next 30 minutes to enjoy your Kiswahili lesson. You're going to enjoy your Kiswahili lesson at exactly 6 and you have you all move together. Uh, anybody with a question before I end my lesson? Perhaps there is somebody who never understood anywhere. Raise your hand. You have this question. You have been having a question of this kind. Whitney, Mudoni, if you have had a question that is a problem, a problematic to you, there's a problem. Rispa, Mish, if you have a question, Pauline, Jerry, you have a question. I only have 30 seconds to wind up the lesson. I have 30 seconds to wind up the lesson. Anybody with a question? Anybody with a question? Michelle, you have a question. Same thing. Michelle, you're on. Are we joining using the same link? Yeah, you are going to use the same link until the end of this week. I, I want to use the same link until the end of this week. We join just, just after that 30 minutes. You join the link for Kiswahili. That's a very good question. And about other person with a question. I'm remaining with two seconds, I mean, uh, 10 seconds. Anybody with a question? Victoria, do you have a question? Okay, let us end there. We are going to.